the home the helicopter crashed into. There was a woman inside in the kitchen. She was home alone. We spoke to her husband. He declined to go on camera, but he told us that he was actually driving nearby. He saw the helicopter take off and then crash land. He had no idea the helicopter had crashed into his own home. Uh, he tells us that his wife is still very shaken up, as are the many neighbors who witnessed the wreckage. It was very traumatic. The pilot and three passengers had just taken off from John Wayne Airport on their way to Catalina. A short time later, the helicopter went down, hitting two rooftops in a quiet, gated community, then slamming into this home. One of the neighbors here, who I know from walking my dog, she said, I saw the whole thing. She said the thing was coming in low, and all of a sudden the rotors just stopped, and it just, just fell out of the sky. Authorities identified the victims today. The pilot, 60-year-old Joseph Tenna of Newport Beach, died along with two passengers, 45-year-old Kimberly Watsman of Santa Monica and 56-year-old Brian Reichelt of Hollywood, Florida. The fourth person on board survived and is in the hospital. Shortly after takeoff, uh, something happened. Uh, we do not have any distress calls from the, from the pilot of the helicopter. Investigators say the debris field is about 100 feet in length. It could mean pieces were coming off before it hit the ground, but NTSB officials won't comment on that today. The mangled wreckage of the helicopter was removed from the scene this afternoon. Investigators will now search through it. Hey, we're going to continue looking at the machine uh, going through the helicopter, all the major systems and components of the helicopter, and also looking looking into the pilot's history, uh, medical background, flight times, et cetera, and then we're also going to be looking at the environment, uh, weather, wind, and so forth. For residents who live near the flight path at John Wayne Airport, this has always been a concern. A few days ago, I was telling a friend that I felt kind of fortunate that in 30 years, there hasn't been an incident of, from uh, John Wayne Airport, but here, not even 24 hours later, a few doors down from my front door, this incident takes place. Now, uh, this home behind me had several security cameras that captured that crash. Authorities couldn't retrieve the video because the power had, uh, rather the home had no power. It was cut off. So this afternoon, uh, authorities now have that video and they are certainly looking through it.